Welcome back, everyone. You guys know for the past couple weeks now, I've asked for your recipe submissions so I can make them and share them with everyone on the show. And I've gotten a ton. I think this one might be my favorite. So what we're going to make today is called creamy slow cooker Tuscan chicken pasta. It's a mouthful. Trust me, it's absolutely delicious. So here's what you're going to do. Let me show you what I got in the crock pot for us already. I put this in early this morning. I just cranked it up on high, actually, for a few hours. It's a couple of pounds of chicken, and I didn't even chop the chicken beforehand. You can do that if you'd like, but I like to just drop it and forget it. So I put in chicken broth as well as the chicken and then the recipe calls for a tablespoon of any kind of Italian seasoning blend. So let me show you what I use. But you could use a mix if you've got it in your cupboard of oregano, basil, maybe a little garlic powder. That's the kind of thing that you want. Um, I love these kind of recipes because they really use and feature things that hopefully you already have on hand. So this one comes to us from Beth Erickson, one of the viewers of the show. And so what you're going to do now after the chicken cooks is add pasta. Now you, the cool thing about this recipe, and we've got it for you on our website, is you can add that pasta dried or you can go ahead and cook it like I did. I just did that just to kind of speed up the process for us. But I've got about eight ounces of pasta in there, and this is another great one that you could add more if your family's bigger, or scale it back, or maybe freeze it if it's just you, or maybe just a couple of people in your home. Okay, so you stir in that delicious looking pasta, and then along with it is a full container of sun-dried tomatoes. So these, sometimes they come chopped, sometimes not. They are absolutely amazing. They're usually always really flavorful. Stir those in with all of their good juices. You could use a pinch of red pepper flakes. Most of you know when I talk about my family, most of us are heat wimps. Big red gum is too much, so I tend to skip the hot elements, but you could put that in if you wanted to. And then a block of cream cheese, okay? This is all about comfort food, right? I didn't say it was healthy. So stir this in, and what's going to happen as you leave that crock pot on high, that cream cheese is going to melt, and we're kind of making a little bit of a mock Alfredo, like a, okay, a fast Alfredo sauce, but it works, and it's really good. Beth's family loves it. We happen to love it, too. So stir that in. Let that all melt together. Now you're going to add just a couple of other elements. About five ounces of spinach. Now, as a dietitian, this is my favorite part because spinach is packed with nutrients that are great for you. I call it the energizing food. If anybody came to me and said, Ness, I need more energy, I'd say eat a spinach salad every afternoon, at least two cups, or throw it in a smoothie or something. But it's one of the best things you can take in. It's also great at boosting your immunity, which we all need right now. Now, I put a lot of spinach in there. You might think it's starting to look like a salad. Don't be deceived. The spinach is going to wilt down as everything is really hot, okay? So give it just a couple seconds, and those leaves will start to wilt down almost to nothing. Just lots of great flavor an added crunch, and a boost of nutrition. Final ingredient, good old Parmesan cheese, okay? We're gonna use about a cup of this stuff. Stir that right in there. You can add, I'm just eyeballing it, you could add more or less, depending on your family and the kind of flavors that you guys like. And that is it, creamy Tuscan chicken pasta. Um, I hope you love this one. I've gotten lots of great feedback. That taco pie, went crazy. I had lots of feedback about that from another viewer, but this one, thanks to Beth Erickson for this recipe. So if you guys have recipes that have been working for you right now, hey, share it so we can share it with all of our viewers because um, we all love good food and all of us are in the kitchen doing things we haven't done in a long time. So it's great to have some good recipes on hand. All right, Mike, I'm going to send it over to you as I, I dish myself out another yeah, bowl. Looks pretty good.